I'm at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show at the NEC and in this video I'm very interested to see what is new to the show, what has been recently built and released by the manufacturers and is starring at the show. So let's take a look at some motorhomes and some camper vans such as these. There has been a lot of people standing outside these two camper vans. These are called Cactus. They're almighty 4x4s, very expensive, but uh, let's take a look around. Is it Cactuses or Cacti? So this is the uh, Cactus Oasis. Got a winch on the front there. Massive tires. I wonder where that's taken us to, those coordinates. It says it's long wheelbase. 142,500 pounds and we're not allowed to go in but that looks very posh in there doesn't it for an outdoor rugged vehicle of course I'm not going to take a look, be able to take a look at these cabinets all the way along here but it, they've got loads of them a uh, small table fold awayable by the looks of things four seat belts now, one thing I don't like, I'll have to show you here. Uh, you've got one step, two steps, three steps into there. And uh, I can't really tell, but I, I might hit my head when I'm standing in the, uh, the dining area. Right round the back, we can see more posh lighting, nice wood uh, effect here. Oh, what's in there? Let's have a look. Well, that's where all the electrics are, by the looks of things. Hence why they've got a vent. But uh, yeah, I'll stand on it because it's rugged. TV, posh bit. You know what? I don't think that's long enough for me. There's bed here. I might be wrong. Tiny little cabinets up here though. Oh, with a light. You don't see that very often. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice colours. And a bit more storage in the door here got a ladder here in case you need to get up to the roof Can you see that there i wonder what that is is that the awning or is that the solar panel right if you don't ask you don't get uh, i asked if i could have a look around and um the answer to that is yes i've had to put on some boot covers because this is actually someone's motorhome so i've got to be very careful uh, there you go, so that's how much room we get in this lit, lit uh, storage area. Now this looks like a door, but it isn't. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, it's a bit of a, I wonder what that was for. And it's going around the sink. Which is, God, that's heavy. My goodness, why has that got to be so heavy? But that's a very deep... Uh, sink there with draining board um, plenty plenty of uh, doors and drawers I mean plenty normally you only get one or two but they've considered what you're gonna put in I think oven grill two hobs I'll get to that in a minute I want to take a look inside the bathroom the curve on that door there. That can't be light. <laughs> oh, oh, that light comes on automatically. It's magic. Normal toilet cassette. Wet room, there's the shower there. Mirror. Oh, tiny sink where I would hit my head on the cupboard, I think. As I'm kind of washing my face. Plenty of room in there for whatnots. Oh, very good, isn't it? Don't you like that? Um, yeah, it's just a it's just a normal wet room. There's nothing special about it. I just noticed the the cover. Sometimes you have a, something that folds away, but no, that's just um, just a normal wet room. And there we have the steps leading up to the bedroom, the bed, and now we're on the other side. So I wonder where, oh no, you're kidding me, you're kidding me, am I, hold on, hold on, oh my goodness, there you go, 
how cool is that? What ladder? I've got to take it out now. <laughs> that is amazing. What a superb idea. Fridge freezer. Uh, ample room. In fact, you've got a freezer compartment up here. Uh, and then you got down there, you can lower some stuff in there, bottles of milk or whatever. Just drop them in. And this is another door. I've got the ladder in the way, of course, which is stopping me from opening that one. But that is a that is brilliant. In here, oh yeah, just loads more storage. Now I did ask about the those overlapping things on the roof, and it is for solar panels. Now what they've done is that they've stacked the solar panels on top of each other. So when they're let's say closed in the normal driving position, you got 250 watts, I think she said. When they're moved out of the way, you get 400 watts. So when you're parked up somewhere in the outback somewhere, and you can extend those solar panels and get yourself 400 watts. Amazing idea, amazing. Well, that's interesting, look at that. That's because of the solar panels on the roof. But this is still allowing you some daylight to come through and a bit more, you know, get some ventilation going. Brilliant. I've been talking to the owners of Cactus and uh, I was very surprised actually because I thought this was like a, a Swedish company with all that wooden interior and whatever. It reminded me of a Swedish catalogue. The reason why this is here is because this is the coordinates of their depot in South Wales and it's owned by a couple. So fantastic. Now, I always find these things quite scary. This is a snorkel, and this is basically to allow the engine to breathe. It's not scary as in, but if it's that high, how deep water are you going to get into? I mean, it's driving in the sea with it when it's that deep, aren't you? All right, let's take a look at the Cactus Dune now. 4x4 four four again. Prices from £128,500. Oh, completely different layout. Uh, you've got the bathroom there. You've got that snazzy ladder leading into the bedroom, the bed. Uh, oh, you got the you got a different style um, hob here. It's electric hob with the same um, sink. The dining area and the comfort zone look similar too. Storage at the top there, and we got the same um, roof set up with the open roof there as well. So there's your bed area at the top, and the storage at the bottom here. Plenty of space. Ah, brollies, fishing rods. Oh, they're quite deep. They look quite deep, these uh, cupboards. One thing I noticed, it doesn't have the uh, overlap thing across the top like the red one. But, uh, and, it, and it's a smaller motorhome, smaller camper van. But just as good, very well built, very good. <laughs> We're going to look at the Roberta Adonis. This is new to the UK this year, as well as the Apollo, which is just behind me here. Let's take a look inside. It looks very posh in here. Now, the sales guy said there's no carpets or anything, um, which makes it lightweight and uh, very, very soft because the materials they've used are not your traditional motorhome or camper van uh, materials. I mean, look at these hinges even. Look how big they are. I don't think that's going to ever break. And it's nice soft close. Now, this here is the sink. It's a counter, first of all, but you can slide it out. Uh, there you go. 
and uh, you have your work surface, you have a draining board and you have a sink. This work surface is now a draining board. Nice deep sink with a tap up just above it of course. It goes in there, it's a draining and, and a chopping board which just goes there. It fits in very nicely. Uh, two burner on the gas hob there. You've got some switches at the top and a USB port. Little cubby holes to put whatever you need in there and uh, a shelf just here. Again, it feels very solid. Now I noticed sitting on the plush leather seats that this is one of those fridges. Now these are getting very popular I thought. I remember last year's show that every motorhome and camper van seemed to have one of these. This is a double sided, double doored opening fridge. I think I said that wrong. But the idea is that you can open it when you're outside that way. Just imagine you're stepping down there and then this side when you're inside. Ideal, very ideal. Uh, not much room in the fridge. Oh, the freezer compartment's quite large. Now along here, more storage of course. That's where your gas taps are. Some storage for, I don't know, pots and pans possibly. And probably a cutlery drawer there. looking at the bed this is a fixed bed it is six foot or just over six foot long or wide uh, you'll sleep crossways and this is where you'll put your head uh, and you can raise this up and down depending on if you want to sit up at uh, in the morning or whatever when you want to sit up storage wise yeah, not too bad they're quite quite large they're efficient I think to see this side because normally they're different sizes aren't they very similar now let's move over to the bathroom yes it has a bathroom different design of any other motorhome I've seen or camper van just a little latch thing here and then just a couple of doors it swings out both ways but let's push it in so there is your bathroom. Uh, now it is a wet room. Now the observant amongst you may have noticed that that is a porcelain toilet. It is not cassette driven. It is a, what do they call it, a mastic, masticator? Let's just take a look in here. Oh look. Oh it's just all your pipes but you can put your whatever you need, the chemicals and whatnot, extra toilet rolls. Sink looks very nice, probably be a bit, probably uh, fashion before function. A little bit of storage up here, oops. Oh, what you, <laughs> I'm not sure what you're going to put in there, it's sloping, plus also it's quite small. And the mirror cabinet, oh hold on. There you go, and a bit of a problem with the door there. So let's take a look at the lounging area. So uh, seats, like I said, these are leather. Well, if they're not, they're very good. They feel very nice. They look very snazzy and cool. Got a nice bead of another material in the middle of there. Table moves around. Uh, of course, you've got more storage on the top. And um, some sort of felt, or a little bit of carpet in at the top here. Oh, look at the front. Can you move that? So I found this little catch here. You can extend the seat. I don't know why you would do that. Maybe you're lounging in it. Also, uh, you got some roof space up here with an extra bed look. Now, I've just been told why everything does feel different in here, and that is because it's not made out of wood. 
is actually they've made their own material here made from recycled plastic bottles. It's a foam high density board which makes it much much lighter than the normal board, normal wood that you get in motorhomes and camper vans. In fact it's so much lighter that they've managed to shave off almost a quarter of a tonne of weight from this motorhome. That's fantastic, don't you think? Looking at the back, you can see you've got loads of garage space and this will go up, the bed will go up here so you can get, say, a bike in. Um, this is where you would keep your gas bottles. And uh, there's no storage in the doors, I've noticed, which is a shame, although they've got this very nice material. Now, I'm just thinking how they how they got the extra room out of the width of the, with the, uh, with the in the bedroom, and if you go around the side, they've actually added on these extra side pods, both sides, which make it look a bit tougher, and uh, giving you a bit little, an extra few centimeters of room inside. So you might be wondering how much it costs. Well, 130,000 pounds. It's pretty expensive, but it's a very nice camper. Let's take a look inside the Roberta Apollo. First of all, the, this motorhome starts off at about 60, just over 60,000 pounds. But the one I'm standing in at the moment with all the features is 104. This one is based on a uh, Opal and it has uh, extra space up there of course this pop top is extra it's completely different inside let's take a look at this um, none of that sliding uh, sink but we have the same sort of position of the uh, of the storage how did that work there's actually a little lever there just there look Same big chunky hinges and the soft close, of course. Now, what is this? I don't want to pull anything to break it. No, don't know what that is. So, in here we have the bathroom, of course. It's this sliding door. There you go, there's a normal toilet uh, with a cassette by the looks of things. This would fold out like that, giving you loads more room to have a shower in the this wet room. That's done by magnets. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, it's very kind of them to um, protect the toilet roll from splashes of water. I like that. You don't normally see that, I find. A bit of space in there. And this mirror is just a mirror. Uh, ow! Oh. Right. Did you get that on video? Yeah, I got that on video. Yeah, so I just banged my head on there. So that's not very clever. All right, I was going to show you these cabinets here, but I'm a bit fed up now. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is a nice deep one. There you go, and some more under bottom. There we are, there's a cutlery drawer. I think it's in the same position. That looks like some sort of cooler, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, and then you have a fridge with freezer box. That's very low down. I'm on my knees right at the moment, but that is a, a chest freezer, can't it's chest fridge. You have this extra little space on the end for some preparation. Right, into the lounge, but in fact, I'm gonna go through the other side. Right, so now we're at the back. Let's take a look at a few things. We've got the table under here, and uh, some storage back there as well. I guess this can, yeah, this can be moved up out of the way. Uh, and then you can mount the table onto that there. 
some area here, maybe get some chairs down there. What's this for the gas? No, it's not the gas locker. It's a nice big storage area though. And what's in here? A... <laughs> I can't see anything. It's quite large in the back there, but I can't see what is actually in there. Uh, yeah, this looks like it folds out into your bed. So this is your bedroom, your lounge, and dining room. So you've got two dining areas actually, if that's if I'm thinking that right. So you've got the one here and the one through there. It's a great use of space. We have here the Bailey Endeavour, which is based on a Ford chassis, which is new for them. This particular one, the B62, which I'm going to take a look at, is £70,000 on the road. Uh, so I've just seen some something that's quite innovational, I think. So you know me, I do like me innovating, innovation stuff. So we'll have a look. Right, so first of all, we've got uh, some storage here. A bit of a weird thing, isn't it? A bit curvy. Um, we've got the fridge. Quite uh, one of those small fridges. And a small freezer compartment. Of course, this is the sink area with the, uh, the kitchen area with the sink and the hob. Oven. Storage under there with a nice little drawer there too. This is the lounge area, which turns into uh, the bed. Now, and we have storage at the top here. Quite large amounts of storage. Oh. Now, one thing I'd like to show you is the bathroom. And uh, notice this gap here. Right, there's your bathroom. Toilet, wet room, uh, little sink there. Now, the thing I wanted to show you is that look at the size of that gap. Now, this door here has got quite an interesting feature because it wraps around like that and it's giving you even more room. Now, that is what I like. Now, of course, I've got bags on me, so I don't think I'll be able to get in here, but it would be a struggle. You lift it open up like this halfway and then step in and then close it on yourself. Right underneath the sink here, you've got this nice little uh, collection of uh, shells. Put your spices in and stuff because just above, you've also got that as well. Just above the sink. Now then, round the back, this is what it looks like. And we've got a couple of storage boxes, areas. It goes way back under the, underneath the chair there. And that one does as well. Next, we're going to take a look at the Bailey Endeavour B64. This has an on-the-road price of £75,000. Let's take a look inside. Oh, it feels quite spacious in here. Got a long bench seat. And the other side is a kind of a corner seat. Oh, this is obviously changing in turns into two beds I think or maybe a double a little bit of room at the front with a nice window sunroof going on a little bit of storage up here of course this has a pop-up roof in the main area kitchen at the back with the bathroom which we'll get onto in a moment look at the size of this locker huge uh, yeah it's Two compartments, three compartments rather. Feels quite sturdy. Nice clothes. We have a wardrobe type of locker here where the table is stored. And you've got another one down there. Now there's the kitchen area. Got plenty of room for preparation or draining your washing there. 
washing up. A few cupboards, drawers. That's obviously where the LPG goes. I'm not even going to bother going in there. Three hob oven and grill. There is the fridge, freezer. Small, the small type. And of course, I'm actually standing in the kitchen area and the bathroom door is closed, I suppose you could say. So let's take a look at that. So there you go. So there's the toilet and bathroom. It looks like a wet room. Um, I'm assuming that that carpet comes up. Yeah, so quite a lot of storage underneath the sink. Nothing, no storage at the top. But this door is amazing. It's a, such a great idea. To giving you that extra space, don't you think? Look at that. Look how much room I was standing in. It's a bit different if it is all enclosed. I wouldn't be able to stand there with my bag, so that's very clever. I do like Bailey for that. Okay, so let's take a look at the lockers above the sink in the kitchen area. Yeah, the ample space. Little cubby holes in the, at the end. Now I'm going out the t the tile door through the tile doors and I'm looking at the back. Oh, there's the table. It fits in the middle of the living area. And what's in there? Oh, it's the toilet cassette. Oh, okay. So that's a bit awkward. So to empty the cassette, you need to open the the double doors up and then uh, open that up. But you know, great usage of space, though. I think. I'm now at Coachman and uh, I'm going to look at their new, brand new, they've only just built it, and they travel a master Imperial 845. And this particular model is £201,000. Let's take a look inside. Okay, wow, look at all that leather. That is a very large space very comfortable up here this looks like a drop down bed cupboards you can push them oh nice and sprung that's where the tv is going to go i assume over here a little shelf in these cupboards place to put your glasses and what's in here oh, no idea so there's a very long locker kitchen area uh, you've got a reasonable size sink no draining board though three burner hob oven 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 oh it's behind me this must be the microwave okay loads of places to put some food this is your oven now this is an up 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 in the air oven high oven or the grill which some people might not be able to reach i don't like the idea of that now you've got the fridge freezer a huge freezer section and of course a very large fridge as well notice you can open it either side under the sink like a little bit of room, not much. Anything on the end? Yeah, you've got some drawers. Cutlery drawer with someone's keys in it. Oh, that's nice and deep. There's your bins. What's underneath this chair? Ah, shoe cupboard, possibly. And the other side of the step, very narrow. Moving over to the bathroom and shower, the toilet and shower, there's the bed. I can uh, open the door here, or close the door. So now I'm in the bedroom and bathroom area. And there is a blind here. 
Oops. Okay. Give you some privacy from the bedroom. The shower, a step in shower, looking all very nice. And over this side is the toilet. There's some storage under here. And behind the mirrors. Wow. Got to push and then pull back. I'm not sure if that's very good for brushing the teeth or having a shave, mind. It's the, um, my head is going to be smashing against the window of the mirror while I'm doing that, and probably I'm going to be dripping on the floor if, I, if we purchase this one. So the bed. Got storage underneath here. Uh, another one. Nice set of drawers. Some reasonable sp space to climb around. I normally find that I struggle getting around these uh, island beds. You've got some uh, storage just in, in either side of the bed as well. And the locker at the back there. Let's just have a quick look at that. How far do these go? Oh, wow, they go back quite far. You might lose something going down there if you put something small in there, but it should be all right. Storage across the top there. Got lighting. Excellent. And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a window either side to gawp at. Oh, and a place to put a TV. Look at the size of this garage. This one's got a shower, lighting, and plenty of space for probably five to six bikes or a scooter of some sort, mo motorbike. Massive. You could put a bed in there. Another new off-roader, this time it's Project Yonder with the Freedom 4X. This one is £194,210, but the starting price is £165,722. That is a lot of numbers. Let's go and have a look inside. Look at that. Cork floor, everybody. That is a cork floor. It's been varnished as well, but if it does happen to stain, spilt milk, uh, spilt wine, then you can just sand it back. So we got a, uh, look at the seating in here. This is amazing. Bear in mind, this is a four by four. It's, uh, it is ready for all terrain. It's such comfortable looking seats. I'm expecting a three point harness. Look at the styling of the uh, kitchen area. Two electric hob. What's this button do? No idea. I'll just turn something on. Oh, even cork in the uh, drawers look. So nothing's going to clatter around. Wow. Nice pure white styling, very clean. And a massive fridge. Uh, fridge. This is not the fridge, everybody. This is the sink. That looks very nice, doesn't it? Floor lighting. Step mind. I'll probably trip over that. Let's take a look in the, uh, now this, uh, I'm not sure if I like the plainness of this, it's very sharp edges, I mean it's very much, work, very well styled, but maybe not for me, but uh, nice big mirror as you enter, that's nice though isn't it, I guess this is a composting toilet, yeah I think so. And then through here is the shower. So separate shower and bathroom. Again, there's nice sharp edges everywhere. That is obviously the style. Tiny little sink. I might not be able to get my face over that to do to shave or brush my teeth. Shave, listen to me, he says with a beard. Bit of storage under there. Some storage under here, toothbrushes, toilet rolls. Oh ooh, hello. How does this work? You pull it, a little catch underneath. Some storage there. You've got to look for the storage. All the functions of the camper van are done here. Right next to this little locker, which looks like it's got the router in it. 
coffee machine. I've seen these quite a few times actually. People, are, these uh, four by fours, do like having their coffee machines in. This is a very large cupboard. Look at that. I think um, they've used the space really well. And in fact, now thinking about it, these sharp edges I keep moaning on about. Perfect way of saving space, isn't it? In the fridge, our oh, beers. Oh, no, I don't think they're beers, but there's plenty of them just to show you how much you can get in. And uh, one of those tiny freezers again, probably for a bag of chips. Oh, it looks like the uh, the ladder can retract back into. Oh, thank you very much. Someone just put the light in on. Is that coming on automatically? Uh, it looks like yeah, you can. Let's try it. There you go. There you go. Fabulous. How many times have I said it? I do like innovation. Now then, not entirely sure. We'd want to put the uh, microwave down below, but I guess it's better than putting it up high. The bed area, nice and bright. And uh, just a little bit of locker storage where your feet would go. On the end here, you've got a little shelf for a bit more extra prep food preparation space. And I didn't notice that there's a uh, external table which you can just pull out from the side of the, uh, the motorhome there, uh, which actually has on a Motome and Camper Van Design Award 2024 van conversions with a fixed roof over six meters winner awarded to project yonder now looking at the back what a bunch of surprises i can see so below the bed we got plenty of storage in here and either side i wonder what this is oh it's the shower why didn't i think of that obviously that is where all the electrics go in there the other side is that looks like the water pump or gas or something. You have the eyelets there so you can store your and hold down your bike. But look at this. The reason I couldn't get any closer is because there's a table in the way that just retracts from the base of the, from the floor of the motorhome. Fantastic. If you're looking for hints and tips for buying a motorhome, then watch this video for advice on what to look for when choosing a motorhome or camper van which best suits you. Our next video in this series is what motorhome can you buy for under £60,000. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and goodbye.